Hello guys, Beastie here with another video and today sports media has changed across the world with one decision by probably the greatest player of all time in any sport. Tom Brady is not going to be on the Patriots any longer and with today I've been very doubtful in saying this and I wasn't going to be on the bandwagon of saying this every year until now. The Patriots dynasty has ended with the loss of Tom Brady. I think the Patriots are still going to be fine. A playoff team still, yes, especially with the new CBA, allowing seven teams in the playoffs. But the dynasty has ended. and They're not going to be nearly as dominant as they once were without Tom Brady. And I'm excited to see where Tom ends up. Right now, the two main places are Chargers and Buccaneers. A while ago in a video, a couple like a couple weeks ago, I said Chargers were a perfect fit. I changed my mind. I, the Buccaneers is a better fit for a championship. If he's really trying to fight for one more championship in his career, his short career, he's, he should probably go with the Buccaneers. They're probably more suit, more often to weapons, nicer weapons, probably a better coach. But the Chargers have a lot of things, too, that are nice to offer. They're offering around the same money right now. I heard both both are offering around the same contract, two years, $60 million contracts. It's so like they're offering around the same from what I've heard. But I think that the, um, the offensive weapons on the Buccaneers sound way more enticing and probably way, more, way better. You probably like their weapons better. But Chargers... Chargers should be offering more for Tom Brady. Chargers should try to offer as much as they can for Tom Brady. Because I think the Chargers need Tom Brady more than the Buccaneers do. Buccaneers are going to be a decent team no matter what. Chargers, though, the big thing that they've always lacked over the last couple of years, especially once moving to L.A., was that they never really even had a home field advantage. They didn't like they might have been decent filling their seats, but then but filling their seats there's like half of another team's fan. That's just the problem with living in LA. You uh you um you can't uh you're not gonna fill you, your stadium with Jets fans. Like if you're in Lu Louisiana, that Saints stadium is filled with majority Saints fans. Same thing goes, but diff that's not the same how LA goes. There's different fans scattered throughout the entire stadium, and um, they don't really get a home field advantage. But with Tom Brady, you're going to get people rooting for the Chargers because they're Tom Brady fans, and they're going to be get that home field advantage with Tom Brady going there. So the Chargers probably need Tom Brady more than the Buccaneers, but the Buccaneers look better if you're Tom Brady trying to win a championship. If Trump, if Tom Brady's trying to make, um, like trying to make more money after retirement, then LA is the way to go. Get to LA, you get more popular, the fame spreads more. You can pitch your idea, his TB12, his diet and everything, his workout method and stuff. That can all sell better in LA than it will in Tampa. But Tampa's got a nice retirement home and more chances to win a Super Bowl now. When he doesn't have forever. He's not like he's a young quarterback and has 20 years to win a Super Bowl. He's got two, maybe three years left to win a Super Bowl. And in that aspect, if he's really trying to win a Super Bowl, Tampa's more enticing. Trying to build for a better retirement, LA's a little bit more enticing. And if out of those two, I feel like the Buccaneers are going hard, but the Chargers should. I'm not saying they do or they don't. I don't no idea. I'm a high schooler. I get no inside footage or like inside input or nothing. And that's, I think, what partly makes me more unique. I'm like the average, I'm I'm not quite the average fan. I'm a little bit more than the average fan because I follow this stuff crazy nonstop. But you're pretty much getting your average fan giving their input. And uh, the Chargers should want Tom Brady more than the Buccaneers. But from what I'm hearing in articles and what I'm reading is the Buccaneers are like the hottest team on Tom Brady and they want him the most and... If that's the case, he should just he's probably gonna sign with the Buccaneers tomorrow. But there also might be that team that we're not hearing about that's lurking underneath that none of us are even paying attention to, and they might snag Tom Brady and give him a deal out of nowhere that he can't refuse. And that might be more built to win a championship than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's my input on the Tom Brady news. 
Is it sad to see a dynasty end? Yes, I'm not a Patriots hater. I'm a Giants fan. We beat them twice in the Super Bowl, so I have nothing to grudge to the Patriots about. It was a little tiring seeing them win year after year after year. Yeah, it's got a little tiring, but it's honestly sad for me to see a great dynasty end because that was great football with a great head coach and a great quarterback, greatest of all time, both of them in the NFL. Like Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback player of all time. Belichick's the greatest coach of all time. I mean, so to see those two depart is sad. And now here's another quick thing I want to say too. Tom Brady, by leaving, he could, I think he's either going to really hurt his legacy or really improve it. I, there might be that small shot where he – then there's also a shot he just maintains the legacy he has, which is the greatest player of all time. I mean, that's not – a legacy that you really care if it stays like that. You kind of want to stay. But he can improve his legacy by winning a championship with another team. But he also hurts his legacy if he goes on another team and does all. Say that he signs with the Buccaneers and the Buccaneers go 5-11 and 11 or max or 8-8. Eight and eight. Even if they go 8-8, eight and eight, Tom Brady's legacy, I think, gets hurt. Because then he shows that he was a product of Belichick. But if he wins a championship with another team, he's not a product of Belichick. He's he's winning championships because he was great. But if he does poorly, so like I'm not saying he needs to win a championship to prove he was great. But if he makes the playoffs and makes a run with the Buccaneers, say they make it to the divisional, maybe even the championship round of the playoffs, or if they make it to the Super Bowl and lose, Tom Brady builds to his legacy. But he loves he his legacy gets hurt if he if the Buccaneers or whatever team signs him does poorly in the upcoming season and he'll just be shown that he was a product of Belichick. But same goes for Belichick now though the time where he's leading too. This bill this builds on Bill Belichick's legacy or hurts Belichick's legacy. Belichick already has a phenomenal le- legacy, probably even better legacy than Tom Brady. Because I think, at least I believe, and I think more people believe, that Brady was a Belichick product. Not like not quite. I believe Tom Brady can win a championship without Belichick. But Tom Brady's not even close to where he is today without Belichick. So I give Belichick more credit. But same thing goes. If he goes like, if he has a bad season with the Patriots this year without Brady, it hurts his legacy a little bit. But if he goes right back to the playoffs soaring like he always does, he just improves his legacy even more and more. The year, there was one season where Tom Brady, I forgot what year it was, but Tom Brady was hurt the whole year. He didn't play a game. He went 11-5. and five. Granted, that year was loaded in the AFC, and they missed the playoff with an 11-5 and five record. But he went 11-5 and five without Brady for a season when Brady was hurt. So do I think Belichick can win without Brady? Dap, absolutely. More likely than Tom Brady having a crazy year on another team. But, so this move by Tom Brady can hurt his and Belichick's legacy or gain both. Both their legacy can gain and both their legacies can get hurt. It's not like one's going to gain and one's going to get hurt. No, this could, both can succeed. Both can gain their legacy because of this move. I'm excited to see what next season holds just because of Tom Brady's not going to be in New England. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Tell me your thoughts on the Tom Brady decision down in the comments below. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Peace out, y'all.